I am Giselle Iscardo Arce. I graduated from St. Brendan High School in 2010. I think the best way that I can describe St. Brendan is as a foundation for my life. It was my safe place as a student. I went through very difficult moments leading up into entering high school with the loss of my father. Um, I also had some difficult times with um, my brother at home. He was in some in a very dark place in his life and I had to deal with all of that as a student in high school. But St. Brendan High was always my safe place. I was always happiest when I was at St. Brendan. These walls were my home. I felt more home here than I could have felt anywhere else. I could probably describe too many memories. As a student here, I always tell my students now, now that I have the opportunity of being a teacher here, that my four years here were the best years of my life. And, and I only wish the same thing for them. So I could probably name hundreds of memories, but I'd say one of the best ones would have to be going on my senior encounter. Um, being around 17 and 18 year olds that, you know, were trying to figure out life at that time and kind of going on that journey together of faith as students, really young, essentially. We thought we knew it all at that point, but uh, being able to experience that with my classmates is something that I'll never forget. Okay, so my son, Connor, Cash Arce, class of, I don't know what, but he has no option but to come here. Um, he went through some very difficult times medically when he was first born. Um, he was born with a congenital heart defect and had to undergo a surgery to fix his condition. And unfortunately, two days after that, he suffered a 22 minute respiratory arrest. I don't know if there's any words for me to truly describe what it felt like knowing that I had my entire St. Brunson community praying for us, supporting us throughout the whole process in any way possible. Something as simple as bringing us dinner one day or lifting us in prayer. We felt that day to day while we were in that hospital. And that's because of the beautiful community that we have here. I don't know that I would have been able to find that anywhere else. It was, this is my family. And I felt that the entire way through everything that we went through with our son. We're still going through things with our son and constantly in the hallways, my coworkers, my former teachers will ask me, how is he doing? And that's something special that I think you would only be able to understand if you experience St. Brendan High for yourself. I think, like I mentioned before, that this is the most beautiful place in the world. And my hope is just to see how much more it grows. This school has transformed entirely since, from when I was a student to being a faculty member now and seeing the growth that it's gone through. And I can only imagine what, how much more growth we will see from the school. So I can't wait to see, continue seeing that as a faculty member and then hopefully one day as a mother as well, being able to see my child experience the magic that is St. Brendan High. Live, bleed, give green. We are the Sabre Pride.